Hey everyone, the golf guy here. And as the year winds down, everyone puts together their 2023 recap videos and posts, I thought I'd make one on how much I earned as a micro golf influencer in 2023. Now, absolutely zero people have asked me to make this video, but I've always found them super interesting and found the transparency helpful. And so if this can be insightful for somebody who might be just starting out on their journey or has already began, I'm always happy to share my insights. So without further ado, let's get into it. Now, before diving into the money, I thought it'd be helpful for me to first summarize how I actually reach my audience. So as the golf guy, I manage six different social media presences. This consists of Instagram, threads, TikTok, YouTube, my blog, and Facebook. Across all of those accounts, I've amassed about 12 and a half to 13,000 followers and usually reach anywhere from 30 to 50,000 people on a monthly basis. Interestingly enough, throughout all of my collaborations with brands and companies, Instagram continues to be the focus area for most of them. Thankfully, that's my largest platform with about 8,500 followers. Um, but interestingly, TikTok is definitely the one also on the rise. A lot of people want me to create content for TikTok and also cross-share, of course, on Instagram. And I think brands really do appreciate long-form content such as YouTube. This is my most recent endeavor into social media. Uh, where I only have about 400 subscribers. So if you're watching this, please smash that like and subscribe button. Would really, really make a difference. Now for the part of the video I know you guys have all been waiting for. How much did I actually make as a micro golf influencer in 2023? Now my income as an influencer is broken down into two pieces, free product and actual cash, mainly in the form of affiliate links. Starting with the free product, in 2023, I earned about $5,000 for the free products. This is driven from me working with various brands and companies through either ad hoc initiatives or more formal brand ambassadorships. They send me products and I work with their marketing teams to help promote various initiatives for those companies. My largest projects this year were with Garmin Golf, where I'm a brand ambassador, the Golf Forever program, where I'm also ambassador, as well as even roll putters. On top of this, I also work with a lot of smaller brands where they'll send me things like towels, accessories, balls, anything of that sort. And I'll also help work with them and create some additional content. On the second side of that, we have affiliate revenue. This year, from all of my various affiliate links posted across all of my platforms, I generated an additional roughly $3,000 worth of affiliate revenue. This is more or less pure cash. Uh, and so if you total both of those two pieces together, all in all for 2023, I earned about $8,000 as a micro golf influencer. Now, I also wanted to mention there's some pretty cool and tangible benefits about being a micro influencer. Even though I'm not massive, I've still got me and some pretty cool people along my journey, some of which are in the golf industry, some of which are fellow content creators, some of which are fellow photographers. Now some of these people are some of my best friends. Also, a massive shout out to some of you followers and subscribers who have invited me out to come play with you, potentially shoot some content with. These are courses that I might have not had access to otherwise, so a massive thank you. And also, if you ever want to get a game with me, shoot some content together, don't hesitate to reach out. I'm always happy to play. I'd also say the last bit is there's also been some cool kind of industry events that I've gotten invited to that I definitely wouldn't have been privy to if I wasn't on this content creation journey. So. All in all, there's not a monetary value associated with all of this, but definitely a very cool benefit. Now, we can't talk about money without also talking about cost. Contrary to popular belief, it takes some investment to run a successful, or in my case, semi-successful social media presence. For me to run all six of my social media presences in 2023, it costed me about $1,200. This comes mainly in the form of software licenses, things like my Adobe subscription, music licenses, and hosting for my blog. Additionally, it's worth noting that I'm fortunate enough where I had all the camera equipment to run my social media platforms in advance. I'm a photographer by nature, so this was all stuff I had sitting at home. But if you were to also purchase that, that could be hundreds, if not thousands of additional dollars in investment. I didn't formally include any of my golf expenses because I'm a golfer first and foremost, and these are all experiences and rounds that I would have paid for whether or not I was a social media influencer. And so therefore I don't really include that, but it'd be a pretty hefty sum if you were to include all of those. All in all, being a micro golf influencer definitely has its perks and it does offset some of my annual golf expenses. But if we're looking at it on a pure ROI standpoint, it's a pretty terrible decision considering how many hours I spent annually editing and creating content. 
That being said, I genuinely enjoy creating this content and do find the intangible benefits to be a really nice touch along with obviously the tangible ones. So I'm gonna continue doing it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful and hopefully informative. And if you did, would really appreciate it if you could smash that like and subscribe button. As always, if you have any questions, definitely don't hesitate to DM me on Instagram or drop a comment in the comments below.